Today I'm going to show you the foolproof Irish coffee recipe that works every time and won me two World Coffee and Good Spirits Championships. I'll talk you through how you can use this template to incorporate your favourite coffee, whiskey, sweetener and cream in order to make your own ultimate Irish coffee. And now, let's make some coffee cocktails. All right, welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel, everyone. I'm Dan Fellows, and this channel is all about coffee and all about cocktails and bringing the two together in kind of interesting and creative ways, just like the Irish coffee does. If you want to learn more about either coffee or cocktails, then you can access my in-depth courses, which I'll put in the description below, which you can access either through Patreon or Skillshare. And if you sign up to those, hopefully you get lots of value from them. And also you'll be really supporting the channel. So thank you very much. So an Irish coffee. What exactly is an Irish coffee? At its core, it's four things. We've got coffee, whiskey, a sweetener and cream. So there are countless ways to riff on an Irish coffee and we're actually going to explore this in future videos so make sure you stay tuned for those. But today we're going to make a kind of modern take on the traditional Irish coffee with those kind of traditional flavour notes of kind of vanilla, butterscotch, toffee, dark chocolate and nut butter. But we're going to use really high quality ingredients and take a lot of care in doing this. But it'd be really kind of approachable and easy for you to do at home as well. So for your Irish coffee, we're gonna need a coffee of your choice. Just remember this is the kind of main flavor profile of the drink, so make sure it's a coffee that you love. We're gonna need a whiskey. Again, I'm going for a kind of more traditional flavor profile, but you can explore with different whiskeys and different flavor characteristics. I'm using Tullamore Dew's Original Irish Whiskey, which is an incredible kind of foundation for the drink, but they have a really wide range, which we can explore in the future. We're gonna need a sweetener. I'm going for a two to one light muscovado sugar syrup. But again, there's lots of different options here, which we'll talk about later. We're gonna need a one to five saline solution, which is kind of optional, but highly recommended. And then finally, we're gonna need double cream. But you can also use vegan alternatives for this, which we'll explore in the next video. So stay tuned for that. So the first thing we need to do for our Irish coffee is to preheat the things that are gonna contain hot things because we want a really nice kind of contrast between the hot coffee and then the cold cream in the end. So I'm gonna preheat my cafetiere, which is my brewing device my mixing glass and also my serving glass, and then we can start building the Irish coffee. So now these are getting nice and warm, we can ditch the water from our cafetiere, which we're gonna brew our coffee into. We're gonna grind our coffee fresh, and then we can start brewing this. And as I do so, I'm gonna talk you through the kind of three main considerations we have to make when we brew our coffee. So number one is the coffee we choose, number two is the brewer we choose, and number three is our brew recipe. So when it comes to the coffee, Today I'm using 1829 by Watch House. And this is perfect because we've got a modern take on the traditional Irish coffee. And this is a kind of modern interpretation of the traditional flavor profile of coffee. So it's got some chocolate notes in there, a little bit of fruit, and really kind of lots of sweetness and full body, which is exactly what we want. But there are lots of coffees with this kind of flavor profile. So make sure you choose a high quality one, which really fits in with that. You can use different kind of styles of coffee, different flavor profiles. But the most important thing to remember here is you wanna pair your ingredients together. So you wanna choose a whiskey, a sweetener, and a cream that complement the coffee you choose so that you've got a kind of harmonious drink at the end of it. So now we've chosen our coffee, we can talk about our brew method. So I'm going with a cafetiere here because two reasons. Everyone's got a cafetiere, number one, but also because it gives a really nice kind of full body which complements the full body of the coffee. And also there's kind of more traditional flavor notes in the whiskey and the sugar. But the only downside of this is you get a little bit less clarity than you would with a paper filter and you might get some of the grounds sneaking into the final drink. Probably my favorite all rounder is the Clever Dripper or the kind of steep and release brewers because these have all the benefits of the immersion just like you get with a cafetiere where the coffee and the water mix together but then it's paper filtered for that clean finish. But you could even use like a V60 or a pour over and get a very clean cup, but a little bit less body and intensity. So you might wanna pair this with a slightly lighter whiskey and a lighter sugar. You could even use espresso for this, but you might wanna add a little bit of water either to lengthen it so you get a bit more balance and a hotter drink. And then that leads nicely onto the third point around coffee, which is your brew recipe. So I always recommend starting with 18 to 20 grams of coffee. 18 grams will be a little bit lighter on the coffee flavor, 20 will be a little bit higher. And then you can use pretty much any amount of water you want to brew your Irish coffee. Just consider the more water you use to brew your coffee, the less strength you're gonna get and probably less intensity in the final drink. But play around with this and feel free to experiment. I'm going with 225 grams of boiling water to our 20 grams of coffee. And we're just gonna leave this to brew as I build the rest of the Irish coffee. So gonna dump the water from our mixing glass. Now that's nice and warm. And we can start by adding our whiskey. When it comes to the whiskey, I'm going with Tullamore Dew, the original, which again is that kind of traditional flavor profile with some spice in there and a kind of nuttiness and some vanilla. So really delicious whiskey. But again, there's a huge spectrum of experimentation here. This just ties perfectly in with our coffee. And I always recommend starting with 25 mils of whiskey. You can add more for a more boozy Irish coffee or a little bit less for a kind of lighter Irish coffee, but 25 mils is a really good starting point. So to our 25 mils of whiskey, we're gonna add our sweetener. 
and I'm going for a two to one light Muscovado sugar syrup. So again, what we want to do here is choose a sweetener that's going to kind of complement the whiskey and the coffee we've chosen. And there are lots of different sugars and sweeteners out there. And I've actually made a video all about this, which I'll link above just now. And this also covers seasoning drinks, which leads me on to our next ingredient, which is a one to five saline solution. So this is very much optional, but I really encourage you to taste the difference between adding one gram of a one to five salt to water solution and not doing so. And I'm pretty confident you'll prefer this. It's kind of a magical effect. It just bridges everything together and just makes the drink more kind of harmonious and really kind of shine. So as we wait for our coffee to finish brewing, we're gonna prep our cream. So I'm using dairy cream here, but you can use vegan alternatives and these work really well and we'll explore these in the future videos. But what's really important is to weigh how much cream you put in here. And you wanna be shaking this and kind of counting your shakes, which seems a bit weird, but trust me on this. So with hundred grams of cream, which is what we're gonna need for this drink, I know this is gonna take around about 50 shakes. Vegan alternatives might need a little bit more and very thick creams might need a little bit less. So we're gonna shake it up and count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fifty. Like so. And then what you want to do is strain out any small bubbles using a sieve. This will just give us a really kind of smooth cream, which we can work with. And you can see it's really kind of thickened without being butter, which you do want to avoid. And if your shaker gets very quiet, you might have made butter, so you might need to ditch that batch. Showing the importance of counting your shakes. So now our cream's ready, our Irish coffee's ready to receive its coffee, and our coffee's finished brewing. We just wanna plunge our cafetiere, add our coffee to our whiskey, sugar, and saline mix. And then you just wanna give it a good stir to make sure it's fully mixed together. So just to remind you of the recipe, in here we've got 18 to 20 grams of coffee, brewed with as much water as you want to. We've got 25 mils of whiskey, 15 mils of a two to one sugar syrup, and one gram of saline solution. And then we're gonna finish it with 100 grams of our whipped double cream. And now we're ready to serve our Irish coffee. Gonna start by pouring the main body into the glass and then we can float our cream on top of the drink if we've whipped it appropriately. So if you're not 100% sure, you can use a spoon to support this, but I like to go straight on top. And there we have my friends, beautiful, delicious Irish coffee. Cheers everyone, let's give this a little taste. I got a milk moustache. <laughs> it's just so good. You've got the really nice kind of vanilla cream coming through. You've got the nice butterscotch on the first sip, which is obviously more led by the cream. Then you've got all the kind of delicious, but really kind of sweet traditional coffee flavors. We've got some nuts in there, some dark chocolate and some kind of deep red fruit. It's a very, very delicious and very easy to make Irish coffee. So there we have our modern interpretation of the traditional Irish coffee. And I can't stress this enough, experiment. Use this as a template, use this as a kind of springboard to jump into different flavor profiles, different coffees, different whiskies, even different spirit bases, different sweeteners, adding the saline, tasting it with and without, and experimenting with different creams. So if you wanna make this for yourselves, all the ingredients and all the tools will be linked in the description below, along with my Patreon and Skillshare link so you can access those courses. If you make this, let me know how it goes in the comments, or you can also tag me on Instagram, at danfellows1. You can click here for more Irish coffee content, including next week, which is gonna be the vegan Caribbean Irish coffee, which is a riff on the world championship winning recipe I served a few years ago. And if you found value in this, which I really hope you have, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking just here. So I'm gonna have a little bit more of this. I hope you have a delicious Irish coffee very soon. And thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.